One interesting aspect of the meaning of adjectives is that it seems to matter whether the state that the adjective points to has a temporal limit or not. That is, is the adjective describing something that can be on or off with an individual, or does it point to something that is relatively more persistent? Consider one. When Ash is tall, I get worried. When Ash is Canadian, I get worried. When Ash is talented, I get worried. When Ash is excited, I get worried. When Ash is bored, I get worried. When Ash is sick, I get worried. The reason that 1A sounds slightly odd is because predicates like tall, Canadian, and talented are adjectives that generally hold of individuals persistently. The when clause makes the eventuality sound temporary, which is why it sounds odd. These kinds of adjectives are classified as individual level predicates because they are true of individuals as a whole. Individual level predicates give rise to the inference that the predicate will continue to be true of the individual unless otherwise stated. For example, when you say Ash is tall, here is infer that Ash is going to continue to be tall unless otherwise specified. The adjectives in 1B are classified as stage level predicates. Unlike individual level predicates, stage level predicates are only true of individuals during a certain period or at certain stages, hence the name. It is felicitous to use when phrases with stage level predicates in 7B because it's possible for someone to be excited, bored, sick, etc. for just a specified interval of time. With stage level predicates, there is no inference that the eventuality will continue to hold indefinitely. For example, when someone says Ash is bored, you don't by default assume that Ash will continue to be bored forever. In English, the copula used for adjectives is the verb be, regardless of the kind of adjective it is, as in Ash is tall and Ash is bored. In some languages like Spanish, the form of the copula depends on whether the adjective is an individual level or a stage level predicate. The two copulas are ser and estar. In two, ser is inflected as es and estar as esta. 2a shows some examples of Spanish adjectives that can only be used with the copula ser. In 2b are some Spanish adjectives that can only be used with the copula esta. 2c shows examples of Spanish adjectives that can be used with either ser or esta. The adjectives in 2a compatible with ser are individual level predicates. The adjectives in 2b compatible with estar are stage level predicates. The adjectives in 2c are sometimes called ambivalent predicates that can take on individual level or stage level interpretations depending on the context, at least in Spanish. Conceptually, we can think of stage level predicates as being bounded. There is a beginning point and an ending point to them. Individual level predicates are unbounded. They're not contained within a certain interval of time. You may remember that boundedness was a conceptual notion that was also used to characterize count and mass nouns in a previous section. What we see is an interesting pattern of the kind of concept lexical meaning is sensitive to cross-categorically, whether something has bounds and limits.